Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. Science news headlines around the world tell of a baffling mystery on the planet Mars. In March of 2012, amateur astronomers spotted enormous plumes jetting from the Martian surface. The plumes were more than 250 kilometers high and several hundreds of kilometers in length. Similar bright, enormous plumes have occasionally been spotted on Mars since 1997. The lead author of a new paper in the journal Nature states, At about 250 kilometers, the division between the atmosphere and outer space is very thin, so the reported plumes are extremely unexpected. The ad hoc explanations scientists are grasping for are extremely limited. One suggestion is that frozen shards of carbon dioxide or water vapor somehow form the plumes. But as noted in a recent Scientific American article, their existence would require the atmosphere to be much colder than models predict for that altitude. Scientists have also suggested that the plumes may be a kind of aurora similar to the northern lights on Earth. The Nature Report states, Mars does not have a global magnetic field, only pockets of magnetization. The mystery clouds were spotted over one of these so-called magnetic anomalies, and auroral lights have been observed there previously. However, to explain the 2012 observations, an aurora would have had to be 1,000 times brighter than the northern lights. This would require an increased flow of charged particles from the sun, but its activity was not unusually high during the time. But there is another possibility that planetary scientists have yet to consider. For an important clue, let us go back to 2001, when Mars became engulfed in the greatest global dust storm ever observed on the planet. The giant Martian dust storms had already puzzled planetary scientists for decades. How can an atmosphere less than 1% as dense as Earth's remove dust from the soil and accelerate it into massive clouds circling the planet, up to 40 miles or more above the surface? In late June 2001, the Hubble telescope revealed the first stirrings of a dust storm. Within a few weeks, it had covered the entire planet, and the storm did not begin to subside until October. Scientists were left to ponder in vain. How is the dust excavated from the surface? What held the dust aloft? What accelerated the winds and dust across the near vacuum of Mars's upper atmosphere to speeds greater than 250 miles per hour? Like the baffling Martian plumes, conventional planetary science offers no answers that withstand scrutiny. However, in 2005, the Thunderbolts project offered a critical prediction about dramatic dust-raising events on Mars. The article When Dust Storms Engulf Mars states, Since Mars has no thunderstorms to charge up its ionosphere, it should present a good case study of the electric universe. The electrical model predicts that the Martian ionosphere is indeed charged, and it posits no isolated dynamo to, quote, separate charge. On Mars, electrical effects will reach directly from the ionosphere to the surface without the ameliorating leakage via storm clouds that we see on Earth. Unlike radiant energy from the sun, electrical energy can accumulate in the, quote, planetary capacitor for some time with the potential for planet-altering events when the atmosphere finally breaks down and massive discharge activity is initiated. The Thunderbolts project noted in 2005 that when the greatest storm on Mars began in June of 2001, Mars had reached opposition and was the closest it had been to Earth in about 12 years. We then suggest it is not a coincidence that, in March of 2012, just days before scientists spotted the enormous, baffling Martian plumes, Mars was again at opposition and was its closest proximity to Earth in over two years. The Martian plumes resemble the fountains of electrostatically levitated dust, hundreds of kilometers tall, first observed on the Moon in the 1960s. Indeed, according to a 2008 NASA report, Earth's magnetic tail creates a powerful electric field near the lunar surface, occasionally causing dust storms on the moon. NASA scientist Tim Stubbs states, Earth's magneto tail extends well beyond the orbit of the moon and, once a month, the moon orbits through it. This can have consequences ranging from lunar dust storms to electrostatic discharges. We also note that NASA scientists have acknowledged the electrified nature of the giant Martian dust devils. 
A NASA news report in July of 2005 begins. When humans visit Mars, they'll have to watch out for towering electrified dust devils. The article describes a typical dust devil on Mars as a quote, monster column towering kilometers high and hundreds of meters wide, 10 times larger than any tornado on Earth. For decades, physicist Wal Thornhill and others have proposed that dust devils, tornadoes, and water spouts are all electric discharge phenomena. We must also note that we cannot say definitively at this point that the Martian plumes are composed of excavated dust. However, planetary scientists must not ignore the proven ability of electric fields to levitate dust in a near vacuum like the Martian atmosphere. We cannot emphasize enough that scientists are just beginning to recognize the extraordinary electrical environment of Earth and of all planets and moons. In 2012, scientists around the world were astonished by the discovery of giant electric fields in Earth's radiation belts, some more than 1 million volts strong. Structures familiar to plasma physicists called double layers in the outer belts are said to be powerful enough to accelerate electrons to near the speed of light. With each new discovery, planetary scientists move closer to recognizing the electrical circuitry between planets, moons, and the Sun. The electric currents that connect Jupiter and Saturn to their respective moons are now acknowledged by NASA scientists. It is therefore no coincidence that the so-called volcanic plumes of the Jovian moon Io and the so-called geysers of the Saturnian moon Enceladus closely resemble the baffling Martian plumes. The electric universe does not call for rewriting the known laws of physics. Rather, we need only acknowledge the undeniable significance of electricity in our lives and in all of nature. We again remind scientists that all matter is electrical, and it is electrical connectedness that drives the universe. For continuous updates on space news from the electric universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.